to do. Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brex Bando, and today I'm going to be taking a look at some drama in the Warhammer world. Now, there's something that ties pretty much all of these things together, and that is that I just don't care about them. So here's the thing, we often talk about... Um, drama you know uh we talk about how big these events are oh everyone's making videos peachy's left the painting phase and you know you've got you know the the big fight between major kill and wes hammer and then you have the whole arch debacle and then you have midwinter minis and the whole everyone who plays historical war games is actually a yahtzee and the never-ending torrent of hatred for Discourse Minis over on Twitter, which, by the way, I have got a 12-hour ban for for telling Chapter Master Valrak to drill his barrels. Um, I'm getting my WoW stick out, and I will be drilling every barrel that I have as soon as possible. But let's go back to this one and just have a quick look at it. Now, Peachy leaving one project to start another project isn't a big deal. Um, same here, we've got another one. Um, Trevarian Miniatures uh, about Squidmark calling him out on like stealing thumbnails and stuff. Here's a big deal. It's YouTube. Every single one of us steals from each other. Because if some guy's making a video that works really, really well and is getting loads and loads of views, we're going to emulate it. Because at the end of the day, as a YouTuber you've got two things that you want to do. One, you want to make content for people, for whatever reason. Maybe you just enjoy talking to people. Maybe you want to get your stuff out there and you get some sort of gratification from people commenting and, and giving you feedback. And then some people just do it because they want to make money through this. And, you know, all three of those are perfectly valid and equal in value um, as a thing. But at the end of the day, the metrics we have to know if we're succeeding are views views, comments, likes, subscriptions. And it's a little draining, I'll give you, I'll, I'll tell you that for nothing. Nothing makes you sit down and go, I really can't be bothered to make a video. Like, putting an hour, two, three, four hours work in, into a video, uploading it, and then 12 hours later you've got 23 views on the video. Especially when you go and find another creator who has created what is effectively the same video, because frankly, there's only so much news we can talk about and only so many takes we can have. You know, yes, I like it. No, I don't. I absolutely hate it. It's the greatest thing ever. Um, it's pretty much the entire spectrum we have. Um, no one really wants to watch a video where a guy just goes, eh, eh, about every single release. It's the same reason that there's so many videos with real clickbaity um, thumbnails. Discourse Minis is, is good for this. Uh, spiky bits that, you know, they'll use titles which are clickbait. You know, I've done it myself. Um, my, one of my most recent videos, which was the topic, was basically that Anvil Industries is having a clearance sale. Well, if I put the title as Anvil Industries is having a clearance sale, I have told you basically all of the news in the title. There's no reason for you to watch the video. If you don't watch the video, I don't get views, I don't get subscriptions, I don't get watch time on adverts, you know, which means you don't make any money. And, you know, obviously doing things for money is not always the best way to do things, but it's definitely an important thing for someone who is doing YouTube and is trying to build that YouTube into a career or into a second form of income like some people are. And, I mean, to me, I, I honestly, I, I would rather people commented and, like, did that sort of thing than just sat through some obnoxious YouTube advert, because I don't watch YouTube adverts, I block all of them. Um, but I do try to comment, like, you know, hit the share button. The funny thing is, they don't track where you share it, they just track if you click the share button. Um, so I try to do all of those things for as many people as possible. Um, I thought I was subscribed to... Uh, discourse miniatures but apparently not but um you know we have a lot of these things here 
And if someone has a format, and the most famous one for this is like Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast has very sty uh, very specific style for his thumbnails. Well, when you're the biggest YouTuber ever, everyone starts copying you because that's what works. So it does suck when, you know, someone comes along, makes the same video, but they get a thousand views because their thumbnail is more enticing or the title is more enticing. So you start to copy them. That's why my videos with big red letters saying like banned or that sort of thing um, get more views. But this drama stuff, um, you know, here, fight. These guys aren't fighting particularly. They've had a disagreement. They've accused each other of, you know, stealing each other's work and then realized actually we're not. It's just the nature of the game. Um... And, you know, they've got on with it. They've just got on with their lives. And that's it, really. Arch Warhammer. Now, some people have got some legitimate reasons why they don't like this guy. I don't care. I don't watch Arch's videos. I don't agree with, you know, some of his views. I don't agree with a lot of people's views on a lot of things. Um, I'll be honest. I find Arch's accent makes my screen skin crawl. And it's insufferable, but... You know, that's just me. You know, I'm autistic. Certain things really trigger me and make me kind of go, ugh, I don't like that. But he did an awful lot for the community for a certain period of time where he was basically putting out a lot of content. And yeah, I don't agree with the language he used in Discord, but everyone's used inappropriate language. Everyone has said stuff that would get them in trouble in the court of the public opinion in private. So, you know, I think that was a bit sad that they resorted to going after him like that. But, again, that doesn't mean I support him. But I don't care. I'm not going to get into a hissy fit with someone who hates him. And I'm not going to bother trying to protect, uh, like, trying to defend him. Just like I'm not really going to bother and lose sleep over someone who absolutely loves him. Midwinter Minis. Now, this is the only one that really I kind of had a bit of a, uh, a horse in the race. Because actually, I had a very successful video off this. It's my most successful video ever. It's also one of the only ones that's not monetized, which is annoying. Um, and I did throw some shade in this video. And it's because actually this is something I did care about. Midwinter Minis, for those of you who don't know, basically came out and was doing a video sponsored by World of Tanks, I think it was, or World of Warships, or something like that. One of those free-to-play World War II games where I think he'd been sent a Panzer IV and, I don't know, it might have been a Sherman or something. It was a German tank and an Allied tank. And his video basically started with him going, oh, my girlfriend says I don't want to paint the Nazis. And then he went on to basically say how he feels that people who willfully play the bad guys in historical wargaming are suspect. You know, why would anyone want to play the bad guys? Because bad guys are cool, alright? And I like playing the bad guys in a lot of things. I think the Hellgast in the Killzone series are one of the coolest looking sci-fi groups out there. I think the Empire in Star Wars looks absolutely amazing and their music's brilliant. I think that the Imperium of Man are just tickety-boo. I think the Borg in Star Trek are terrifying and amazing. Same with the Cardassians and the Klingons. I think that all the bad guys in pretty much anything usually have a better design than the good guys and they dress better and they usually have cooler looking ships and tanks and all that sort of stuff and at the end of the day it's a war game and I want to play as the bad guys because someone's got to. Doesn't mean I'm a national socialist. But that's what his implications were. So I made a video about it. Discourse Minis. There's a current thing on Twitter at the moment where basically people are ripping into Discourse Minis because every single video they do appears to be some sort of, some sort of, um, you know, world is ending total disaster drama with the same kind of with thumbnails. As you can see, I've watched a couple of these videos, usually quite all the way through. Um... Yeah, I've got no problem with them. 
they're just an interesting way of hearing some of the news and okay the person's kind of negative but that's who they are it's fine I'm not going to dogpile on this person just because they are that's their brand basically there's another one um, people have a go about chapter master Valrak because he's they call him like things like Shilrak and all that and they, they have a go because of the way he acts and the way he talks and the, the kind of events he does and he does like giveaways and charity stuff and some people don't like it I don't care Macker at the Outer Circle probably the most famous salt miner out there everybody hated Macker because he was always so negative he's always awful oh he's negative 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 he's not and if you watched his videos you'd know that but people are so invested in hating on him because it's drama. Oh, Mac has said this. What I'm trying to get to here is that every video that comes out that's like this, like this, it's okay to just say you don't care. You don't have to take sides. You don't have to get super invested in this stuff. You don't have to be someone who gets up in arms, starts shouting and screaming on Twitter, on the forums, on Instagram, on YouTube comments. And for one reason this is, these people don't know you exist. You know, <clears throat> Chapter Master Valrax got, what, I think it's quarter of a million subscribers? He's got lots of members, he's got regular members, Someone in his comments just having an argument, defending his honour, is is not really someone he's going to be paying a huge amount of attention to. Same for most of these people. And um, you're not adding anything to the situation, frankly. So just ignore it. Sit back, enjoy it as entertainment, and that's about it. But you don't have to have an opinion on everything out there. You don't have to take sides. And ironically, this also applies to things in real life too. You'll see an awful lot of people with flags for countries they don't live in, in their bios and in their profile pictures online at the moment. And they'll be decrying each other for being monsters. You don't have to take a side. Unless it's the country you live in, unless it directly affects you. It is perfectly fine to say, it's not my fight. So guys, I hope this video hasn't come off as too preachy, hasn't come off as too whiny. I hope that I've managed to make myself kind of clear. Um, you know me, I don't speak particularly well. Um, I have once been accused of being somewhere between a fake arch and a uh, Maca kind of hybrid of my fake English accent. Um, which is ironic because I've managed to keep up my fake English accent for 36 years. Um, but yeah, we don't have to agree on everything. If everyone agreed on everything, the world would be the most boring place in the world. We'd probably all have ultramarine armies. And, you know, we just, nothing would happen. We would probably wouldn't play war games. We'd have no conflict to work out. Also, ultramarines are awesome, so, you know. There's that. If you stuck through, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Um, as always, you can follow me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. Um, you can follow my stuff on the Bolter and Chainsword, which is where I post a lot of my finished models. You can come join us on Discord. The link is in the community notes. Um, if you're in the UK or Europe, please feel free to use my Element Games code below. Um, if you're picking something up from Element Games, you get 15 to 25 percent off any of the GW purchases, plus a load of other ma uh, manufacturers. You know, Warlord Games, uh, War Machine, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but don't feel like you have to. If you guys know, or if you run a retailer of your own, uh, and you have some sort of scheme like that in place, and you want me to give you a shout out, just drop a comment and say, you know, hey, I've got, you know, would you mind shouting out my company? I'll do it. I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, thank you for watching guys thank you for any comments you put for liking subscribing if you do guys on the discord thank you very much for all the uh, the stuff you do uh, thank you for putting up with me 
Thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, and for those of you who said such nice things towards uh, the situation with my, my, with my mother, thank you very much for that as well. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Have a great evening. My name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. Bye-bye.